Hey there, this is Max Talks Apple, and today I'm going to show you how to play N64 games on your Mac. Okay, first of all, the first thing you're going to need to download is the best N64 emulator. Now, what an emulator is, is it basically emulates the console. Uh, so, you'll be able, so basically, you download the emulator and it will run games as if it were a console. So, what you need to do is download the best one, which is 64. 64 is the best Mac emulator for Nintendo 64. Type in 64 in Google and it should come up with this page. You have to download it. It's very small, 832 kilobytes. It's very, very small. Uh, and you'll be able to play any game that you download. And where do you download the games from? You download the games from the best websites for it. And I think the, the best ones that I use are coolrom.com which has, a, if you just go on ROM files and then go on Nintendo 64, it's put it into an A to Z category of each of each uh, game. Um, the reason why it's ROM files is because that's what the game files are, basically. They're ROM files. So if you do a Google search for N64 ROMs, you'll come up with loads of websites for different ones. Another good website is Dope ROMs. They have a huge list. And interestingly enough, if you click on ROMs and then you click scroll down and go to Nintendo 64, you can see it has 2,557. Uh, all of these are Nintendo 64 ROMs. Now, the ones with crosses don't work the ones with ticks do and in brackets if it says e it's for europe and if it says u it's for the united states this you have to understand because the worst thing that can happen is that you'll download one that's got a tick next to it and they'll have a j next to it because it's for japan and it just won't work or it'll just play in japanese and you can't figure out how to change the language it's probably because you can't change the language another good website for it is emu paradise they've got loads of roms and they're the best ones for downloading the Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time because I've tried all the others and they seem to crash a lot. Now the one thing with 64 is when you start it up it will ask you to register it. If you skip the registration then you can't save your games. Uh, you'll have to buy uh, a registered version for 64 uh, to save the games. Um, I've registered mine. Uh, to register you just go to about 64 and then just go to registration and then enter the license key but I know people on the internet and I know that there's a lot of places that you can get registrations for 64 a lot of people are giving them for free so I do Google search on that once you've downloaded them what you can do is then open up your games uh, I've got not that many but let's just open up Diddy Kong Racing And what you'll notice that it's not full screen. All you have to do is go to File, Pause, Options, Run Full Screen, and then just uh, click it and press Command R to run. Hit Enter to start, and Command is A and Alt is B. And you'll see it runs very smoothly. But I'm not going to play it. Um, yeah, so that's N64. Uh, that's the N64 emulator. If you go to about, if you go to configure controllers, sorry, then click on that and then go to configure the untitled key set and then go to configure. You can actually see all of the uh, desired keys for the controls of the N64. Now, I haven't got an N64 controller to USB connection. I mean, uh, c controller, so. I can't use my uh, N64 controller, but there are ones you can buy off eBay. That is the best thing that I could suggest. Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, 
Okay, for more videos, subscribe to my page.